I'm Alice McDermott. And I'm Jack Rice. We'll be reading excerpts from the interrogation log of Detainee 063. This 83-page documents log logs the minute-by-minute -minute seven-week interrogation of Muhammad al Qatani, which took place from November 2002 through January of 2003 at Camp X-Ray, Guantanamo Bay, Cuba. By the way, the first time I read this in Manhattan uh, through the ACLU, I just returned from Gitmo, and I was at Camp X-Ray in these interrogation rooms. 0001. Upon entering the booth, Lead played the call to prayer with a special alarm clock. Detainee was told, this is no longer the call to prayer. You're not allowed to pray. This is the call to interrogation. So pay attention. Both lead and control participated in a pride and ego down approach. Control told detainee, Osama bin Laden, UBL, has made a whore of Islam. Since you follow UBL, you also rape, rape Islam. Control put a sign on detainee which had the Arabic word for coward written on it, explained how the words liar, stupid, weak, and failure applied to detainee. Detainee showed very little emotion during the initial portion of the session, except for the occasional smug smile that was met with immediate taunts and ridicule from the interrogators. Zero, 120. Lead ordered detainee to go to bathroom and walk for 20 minutes. Refused water. Corman checked his vital signs and stated he was fine. Both interrogators continued with the futility and pride and ego down approaches. On occasion, when the detainee began to drift off into sleep, Lee dripped a couple of drops of water on detainee's head to keep him awake. Detainee jerked violently in his chair each time. 0240. After a bathroom and walking break and detainee's refusal of water, the interrogators continued the aforementioned approaches. Detainee showed little response during this session. Detainee became increasingly tired and incoherent. 0320. Detainee received walking and bathroom break. Refused water. He then slept for one hour, followed by one hour in his chair, listening to white noise. 0530. Control showed detainee the banana rats. By the way, they're about this big. <laughs> and they do exist, and stated that they live better than he does. Lead asked detainee, what do you think is going to happen to you? What would a judge do if he saw all of the information that links you to Al-Qaeda? Detainee stated, I am not associated with Al-Qaeda. After that statement, control read all circumstantial evidence collected against detainee. Detainee attempted to hide his emotions, but was clearly frightened when asked if the judge had enough evidence to convict him. 0700. Detainee walked, refused water, and allowed to begin four-hour rest period. 1100. Detainee awakened and offered coffee. Refused. 1115. Detainee taken to bathroom and walked 10 minutes. Offered water. Refused. Interrogators began telling detainee how ungrateful and grumpy he was. In order to escalate the detainee's emotions, a mask was made from an MRE box with a smiley face on it and placed on the detainee's head for a few moments. A latex glove was inflated and labeled the sissy slap glove. This glove was touched to the detainee's face periodically after explaining the terminology to him. The mask was placed back on the detainee's head. While wearing the mask, the team began dance instruction with the detainee. The detainee became agitated and began shouting. The mask was removed and the detainee was allowed to sit. Detainee shouted and addressed lead as the oldest Christian here and wanted to know why lead allowed the detainee to be treated this way. 1300. Detainee taken to bathroom and walked 10 minutes. 1320. Detainee offered food and water refused. Detainee was unresponsive for remainder of session. Afghanistan Taliban themes run for remainder of session. 1430. Detainee taken to bathroom and walked 10 minutes. 1500. Detainee offered water refused. 1510. Corman changes bandages on ankles, checks vitals. Okay. 1530, detainee taken to bathroom and walked 10 minutes. 1600, Corman checks vitals and starts IV. Detainee given three bags of IV. 
1745, detainee taken to bathroom and walked 10 minutes. 1800, detainee was unresponsive. 1833, detainee was allowed to sleep. 1925, the detainee was awakened by interrogation team. He was offered food and water, but he refused. 1945, the interrogation team and detainee watched the video Operation Enduring Freedom. 2120, detainee was sent to the latrine, offered water, but he refused. 2200, detainee exercised for good health and circulation. Medical representative took detainee's vital signs and removed the IV housing unit from the detainee's arm. The detainee's pulse rate was low, 38, and his blood pressure was high, 144 over 90. Detainee complained of having a boil on his left leg just below his knee. The medical representative looked at the leg and phoned the doctor. The doctor instructed the corpsman to recheck the detainee's vitals in one hour. 2300, detainee refused water and food. He was taken to the latrine and exercised in order to assist in improving the detainee's vital signs. 2345, the medical representative rechecked the detainee's vital signs. The detainee's blood pressure had improved, but it was still high, 138 over 80, and his pulse rate had improved, but it remained low, 42. The corpsman called the doctor to provide an update, and the doctor said operations could continue since there had been no significant change. It was noted that historically the detainee's pulse sometimes drops into the 40s in the evenings.